there's three formulas that are built for three different activity levels. So they're, they're designed um, as a family. So you've got your 32, 32. The numbers indicate your protein and your fat levels. So 32% protein, 32% fat. One step down is 30% protein, 25% fat. And then your lowest one is a 26% protein, 26% fat. And they are designed around the types of activity, but mostly the duration of the activity that the animal is going to undertake. That a guy that came in originally and was feeding fish food to his dogs, the 3232 was originally designed for him. So he's the musher guy, he's got the dogs that are pulling all day long that require 720 kilocalories per cup. So that's what you're getting out of that. It's, out of that. it's your highest energy dog food that exists in the marketplace. Uh, one step down from that is your 3025. So that's uh, 572 kilocalories per cup. Still very high, still higher than what you typically find on the marketplace. And that's a really um, versatile dog food. Um, still lots of protein, still lots of, lots of fat, but is above what you typically, like I just said, above what you just typically find in the marketplace. But it, it's used by a lot of your kind of more mixed activity to high activity users. So uh, a lot of police dogs are on that food. Um, a lot of hunters um, feed that food basically skinny dogs, uh, but not necessarily to the level that the 3232 may require. Um, and then one step down from that is your 2616. So that's more designed for your everyday dog. It's more in the ratios of, of what you would see for protein and fats, but it's also originally designed for um, more your sprint athletes. So the way that dog metabolism works is they, they will use carbohydrates to kind of get their engine going. Uh, for lack of a better term, but it, it, it once they kind of get going, um, they'll switch over to burning fats directly, free fat and free fatty acids directly. So the longer the endurance of the activity, uh, the more free fatty acids are going to be required. So 3232, lots, 3025, still lots, but not quite as much. And then the 2616 is really good for sprinting athletes that don't necessarily require that higher level of fat that's in the diet, but may require a few more carbohydrates because their, their the duration of the activity is, is lessened. Um, that's the one that we also recommend for um, dogs that are less active in general. So it is a good food for, for your everyday dog as well.